Hey there, Jono here, and welcome to my Web 2.0 Sniper review. In this review, I'll tell you exactly what Web 2.0 Sniper does, how it works, Web 2.0 Sniper alternatives, and also whether I think it's a product that's worth investing in or not. Uh, Web 2.0 Sniper is a product by Atanas Gurkov, which launches on May the 21st. So what it does, essentially it's an SEO software that will help you find high domain authority expired Web 2.0 domains. Sounds a bit technical, I know, but I will explain. So you can basically use these domains to rank your videos or your websites in Google because it will give you powerful backlinks. It's not a get-rich-quick method where you just push a button and get $7,000 in your bank account overnight. No. Nope. But if you understand the importance of SEO and ranking videos and websites, then you'll understand that this indirectly can help you to get rich. So what is, an, what is a Web 2.0? Basically, it is a, uh, a free blog that you can set up. I'll show you some examples. So blogs like Tumblr, um, Webs, WordPress, Wikidot, LiveJournal, Overblog, Blogger. Hub pages and Weebly, they're all places where you can create a free blog. Um, so, uh, the difference between a Web 2.0 and a regular domain? Well, it all comes down to something called domain authority. Now, with a Web 2.0 domain like Tumblr or WordPress, they're already established and they already have a lot of trust with Google. And when you make a free site with them, you get a an extension on the end of your domain name, for example, johnoarmstrong.weebly.com or johnoarmstrong.wordpress.com. And what that does is it gives your little subdomain, the bit before the weebly.com or the, the tumblr.com bit, it, it gives you um, a part of their domain authority. So, for example, here's a... Um, Here's a blog that I set up on Tumblr.com. It's called bobs-really-awesome-blog99.tumblr.com. And I put this through uh, Moz, which is something that analyzes domain authority and page authority. And it gave me a domain authority of 99 out of 100. Now, the reason I got such a high score is because it has this .tumblr extension on the end from the .tumblr web 2.0 domain. And it, I bought the actual domain without the .tumblr bit, so you can see that here. And that has a page, uh, sorry, that has a domain authority of one, which is absolutely crap. Reason being is because it's a brand new domain; it doesn't have any kind of history or trust with Google, so it's basically starting from zero. Um, the difference between an expired Web 2.0 and a brand new Web 2.0. If you were to go to Tumblr and register an account, it would um, start with zero. So it doesn't have any content. It's a brand new page that you've just put up, and it has a page authority of zero, effectively. Now, an expired Web 2.0 is a page that somebody has previously set up, put some content on, left it for some time on Google, so it's built up a bit of a trust score and had a bit of a, a history there with the content. So it does have some kind of page authority. Now, the reason why it's expired is because the creator has either neglected it, forgotten about it, or got into some kind of trouble, which means that they weren't allowed to use that content anymore. Um, and when that happens, these domains go into an expiry period, and you can snap them up using a tool like Web 2.0 Sniper. So, what are the features? Let's go back over to the sales page and have a look. So included in Web 2.0 Sniper, you have a keyword bait finder where you put in your keyword and it will churn out all of the expired uh, high domain authority Web 2.0 domains that are related to that keyword or niche. It will also save the list of domains that it churns out so you can use them later on, save yourself a lot of time. Multi-threading, really don't know what that is, I'm sorry. Page Authority Checker, this is interesting. This basically uses a, um, a product called Mozscape, 
to check the page authority of the domain name that it finds for you. So because these are expired uh, Web 2.0 pages, uh, sorry, domain names, then it will automatically check the content that is on that page and see what the um, what the page authority is, which is really useful because if you have a page authority of a domain that's zero, then obviously that is going to affect how strong the link is and it will be quite a weak link. It also has proxy support and it has uh, you can integrate this with over nine different Web 2.0 platforms, which includes the ones that we talked about earlier, like Tumblr, Webs, WordPress, etc. So, who's the software for? Basically, anybody who's creating uh, uh, articles, pages uh, on a website on a regular basis, or making a lot of YouTube videos and you want to rank them. So, for niche site owners, e-commerce site owners if you're regularly updating products and wanting them to rank um, Amazon affiliate sites product review sites or product review videos for places like Clickbank or yeah anywhere that you can get um, affiliate commissions from CPA offers um, it's not for people who just create one website with one set of content that you're not going to expand upon or do on a regular basis for for if, if you're one of those people, you can go to Fiverr and you can get your site optimized and ranked over there. This is for people who do this on a regular basis, on a daily basis, and they don't want to spend a lot of money on outsourcing their SEO for every single page or video that they make, which can get quite expensive. So this software is for you guys. As you know, backlinks are an essential part of the ranking system in both Google and YouTube. Um, because Google and YouTube, the al algorithm, 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 it works on two basic elements, which is uh, good content and high quality backlinks. So you could go out there and make a video or a web page and just throw some random backlinks at it, but if the backlinks are not actually related to your niche or the keyword that you wanted to rank for, then it might not do your site any good um, and the links will not be very powerful whereas if you use expired um, web 2.0 domains that have a high domain authority that are related to your keyword related to your niche then that is going to boost up your uh, rankings on Google even more because they're all related and they're high quality powerful links I'm sure if you understand about SEO then you know what I'm talking about here so how does it work? Well basically you put your keyword in the top here or you can upload a list of keywords. You select the platform that you'd like it to search on, so either Tumblr, Weebly, uh, WordPress, etc. The amount of threads that you want it to, to, to churn out and then you hit um, enter. Um, and then it will churn out all of the, all of the available uh, expired Web 2.0s. And then you can do a page rank check on each one of those and select the ones that you want to use for your backlinks. So, further information, there is a good review video at the top of the sales page up here. Um, if you click a link in, in the description below, it will take you directly to this page where you can check this out. The product creator made this video and shows you exactly how the software works. And there's a whole lot of other information on the sales page that I suggest you check out as well. So there's a link below if you want to see that. I will also try to get a review copy of this software and do a review myself. If I do get a review copy, then there will be a link somewhere up here that you can click on to check that out. So what are the benefits for you? Well, it's going to save you time. You can actually scrape manually and try to find these expired Web 2.0 domains. Um, there are some free scrape tools available. Just do a Google search. Um, you can set up proxies. Uh, it's a bit time consuming. You can use a, a free VPS if you want to do that. But the IPs that are used on these free systems are not particularly very good. It can save you a lot of money because essentially what Web 2.0 Sniper does is it brings together three different um, separate tools. Uh, so there's there's the scraping issue, the, the scraping feature. There is the proxies that are already um, on there, 
and there's the page ranking on, and domain authority checker. Now, if you were to use each of one of these separately, they all have a price tag of their own. Let me show you. So, Scrapebox, this is a scraping software that you can use to find expired web 2.0s. This does not include the proxies or the for scraping to find the, the web 2.0s. And there we go. The price is $97. You also have the proxies which you'd need to buy. Um, we'll check that out now. So, five dedicated proxies would be $10. Ten dedicated proxies would be $20. So, effectively, it's $2 per proxy. So, that can mount up. And you need a um, web, uh, sorry, you need a page authority checker and domain authority checker, which you can use Moz tool for. If we go over here, you can see that there are different packages available from Moz, with the cheapest one being $99 a month. So by buying Web 2.0 Sniper, you see you can save a lot of money on buying these tools individually. You can do it yourself, like I said, it's time consuming, and you can also run the risk of getting blocked by using your own IP address or by using a free VPS. I have uh, a link below to a free training guide, a PDF which you can download, which tells you how you can do all of this with other tools. You can also go over to Fiverr. Um, there are some gigs on there that will help you to find um, expired Web, uh, web 2.0s. Um, but again, there are cheap gigs which will just send any kind of Web 2.0 links to your site. They won't necessarily be related to your niche or your keywords, which could probably do your site quite a bit of damage instead of good. Um, and then you have the expensive gigs, which are good quality. They'll be just what you want. These people will go up and set this whole thing up manually for you, but obviously the price is $60, $100, $65. Um, it's debatable whether it's actually worth it. And with Web Sniper, uh, sorry, with Web 2.0 Sniper, you can you just pay once. It's uh, $49.95. And then you can use it over and over and over again for all of the different sites that you have. Whereas if you go to Fiverr and you buy these gigs, they will just be valid for one video or one um, website or one page that you're trying to rank. So Web 2.0 Sniper, will, you'll be able to use it again and again and again for a one-time fee of $49.95. So... It's a money saver there. There are alternatives on the market. There is Domain Hunter Gatherer, which is a very good tool. Um, let's go and check that out, see what the prices are. So, this is pretty much the same um, as Web 2.0 Sniper. You can see that they have uh, three different packages the free one, which isn't, re isn't very good at all, the premium one, which is supposed to be for expired Web, web 2.0 hunting. But it doesn't actually feature. Let me just move this across. Doesn't actually feature the Moz um, app where you can actually check the page authority and the domain authority. So if you were going to get something uh, that is the most similar to Web 2.0 Sniper, you'd be getting the professional package, which is eighty-seven dollars a month. So. Um, So the overview, basically, it's a very cheap way of doing SEO, especially if you are building multiple sites, multiple videos, multiple pages, which you need to do this on again and again and again. It's a very uh, powerful way to find expired uh, high domain authority web 2.0s. It includes uh, four powerful tools in one. The price is $49.95. It's a one-time price. And their competitors, as I said, Domain Hunter Gatherer is $87 a month. This is a one-off fee of $49.95. For the first seven days after the launch, which is going to be on the 21st of May. So get in there early if you want to get this for the one-time price of $49.95. You can check the sales page for more information and details, plus the live demo. There is a link down in the description if you want to go straight there and check it out. And there's also a link down below if you want to get my free guide, Expired Web 2.0s, to use as backlinks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, and I'll see you in the next one.